In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the in and out animation for images, screenshot, text, or B-roll clips in Premiere Pro. Coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Harshwardhan. Welcome to HarshwardhanArt.com. I'm sure in every project you need to add some screenshot, images, text, b-roll clips and if you are just adding them simply without any animation or motion that won't look good. That is boring and not professional. So whenever you are adding some screenshot or images or clip or b-roll footage, then you need to add some cool animation that would make it look amazing and that would also level up your production quality. So in this video, I'll show you how you can easily create the in and out animation. And later on, I will show you how you can save that as a preset and you can use that later on for any image screenshot clips or even for the text so that you don't have to create that animation again and again and I would also provide you a link to download that animation preset if you don't want to create your own and you can download that from the link in the description section below and before we go any further please hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing for more amazing tips tricks and tutorials and please Please do follow me on Facebook and Instagram. My all the social media links are in the description and as well as on your screen right now. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see in this project, I want to add this image of Sonic the Hedgehog and I want it to just show it. And as you can see, I've just simply added it over here. It just appears and then after it just disappears so it's not looking cool and it's very simple and boring so let me show you how you can add a cool animation to this or create an in and out animation so it comes on the screen and it goes out all right so it comes in the frame and it goes out of the frame so how you can do this so for this purpose we'll just go to the effects panel and in the effects panel just search trans Form and in the distort folder you will find this transform effect so we'll click and drop it on this sonic clip all right and thereafter we'll go to the effects control so this is the effects control and if you go down you will see this transform option right over here all right so we'll animate this over here. We have the position, we have the scale, skew, axis, rotation, and we have everything else, all right? So we'll be using the position and the scale for this purpose. So let's first go to the start of the clip. So this is the start of the clip and I am going to just uh, go a few frames ahead. So I'll just drag my playhead uh, around few frames from the beginning of this clip. So over here, I want this image to appear on the screen or in the frame. So for that purpose, I'll again go to the transform section and in the position, I'll click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe. So that creates a keyframe right over here. And now I will drag it display add back since it starts and then I will just hover my mouse over it and I will drag it to the left side and until this goes out of the frame. All right. So now if we just press the space button or play it to see the preview, how our animation looks. So you can see this looks something like this. It just goes out of the frame and just comes in. And then what we'll do, we'll go to the end of the clip. So something over here all right few frames before the clip ends or the image ends then we'll again go to the position uh, in the effects control and let me expand it so over here there is a little dot so we'll click on this that would create one keyframe right over here and then we'll just drag it this playhead till the end of the clip so i'll go to the end of this clip or this image something over here and then 
again i'll click on this little dot to create an position or keyframe and then i will drag this position the first position towards the right side so that would just make it out of the frame so until it goes out of the frame that looks good and now i'll move my play head a little back and then i would see how it looks so if i press the play button you can see this goes out so let's see our animation from the beginning so if we just play it you can see it comes in and then it goes out but still there is a problem let's still this animation is good but this is not looking that great so in order to make it look more amazing we'll go to the keyframes all these keyframes so i'll select the first keyframe which is over here and i would right click and select the temporal interpolation and over here i will select the easy ease out and on the second i'll select and temporal interpolation and select easy in or ease in so similarly for the this one second last keyframe i'll right click temporal interpolation and easy ease out and over here in the last i'll select temporal interpolation and select easy ease in okay so now if we just see and play it you can see now this animation looks more cool okay so let me now let's enhance this animation even further so we'll again go back to our keyframes so these are our keyframes so we'll create a selection around these keyframes to select them as you can see now they have turned blue so that means they are selected and thereafter we'll come to the position stopwatch and click on this little arrow and that would open up this dialog box and over here we see the velocity or speeds so we'll go to these frames and over here you can see it shows some handles so now we'll click on the second handle we'll click and drag it towards the left side so that would create uh, this kind of a curve so now this image would come fast in the frame and then it will settle down slowly okay similarly we'll go to the end of these keyframes so we'll select these keyframes and we'll click and drag it this handle towards the right side so now the animation would go slowly and then it would make it faster all right so now if we just come down and see how it looks so if we just press the play button or space you can see it comes in and it goes down okay so now this one looks more amazing and more professional animation and now there is one more thing which we need to do and that is over here so we'll first uncheck this use composition shutter angle shutter angle so let me just make it a little bigger okay so we'll just uncheck it and thereafter there is an uh, option of shutter angle so we'll just over our mouse over it and we'll just drag it towards the right side up to 360 degree okay All right so what it will do it would add some cool motion to the animation so if we just press the play button so you can see now we feel the motion you can see it comes in and it goes out all right all right so animation our basic animation is complete but now we need to add some more motion while it comes in the frame or stays in the frame because that's not looking good because that is stable and if something is stable that doesn't look good in the videos all right so it comes in okay and then it goes out so we'll add some scale animation right over here so we'll again go to the effects control and in the transform option there is a scale option right over here so we'll just move to the second keyframe this is the second keyframe where the uh, this animation just settles or this image just, just settles so right over here we'll create a keyframe of scale on that is the 100 percent so at this time it's 100 percent because we have just made it something like this and then now we'll just press the right arrow key five times one two three four five all right five times and we'll increase the scale to 
let's say 105 all right so 105 percent and then we'll go to the last keyframe and before few frames of the last keyframes let's say press left arrow key five times one two three four five and we'll click on the scale animation so scale animation value would be the same 105 and then we'll press five frames forward with the right arrow key so we'll press one two three four five and then we'll click on this reset parameter so that's going to create a keyframe with 100% scale so this is going to reset the scale value and now if we just see our animation so let's see let's preview this animation so you can see this comes in and it's zoom in and it just zooms out okay so you can see all right so now we need to make some changes we don't want the image to come and zoom in and stay over here so for that purpose we'll go to the keyframes and over here when we have this this keyframe of 105 percent scale we'll just delete this one okay and we'll go back over here and we'll delete the last keyframe of 100 percent scale so we'll just delete that as well and we'll click this keyframe which is the 105 percent we'll drag it towards this side all right and now if we see the preview so let's see it comes and it zooms in and it goes out okay so now you can see it adds some motion to this zoom in and zoom out all right so now this basic animation is complete and now we are going to add some more effect to this so we'll again go back to the effects panel and i'm going to type over here basic 3d okay so when you type basic 3d within the perspective we'll see the basic 3d option so we'll click and drag it over this clip okay and then we'll go to the effects control and we'll come down and in over here you will see this basic 3d option so we have the option swivel and we have the tilt and distort image or spectacular highlights and some more things all right so uh, if we just drag the swivel you can see we can just scale it this way okay and we can even tilt it something like this and we can distance this image okay in the 3d space so this is the jet space and this is the y rotation and this is the x rotation okay so let me just reset all these panels and let's see so these are the keyframes for the position and the scale so when the image comes right over here okay so we'll just click on the swivel so we'll click on the stopwatch to create a swivel keyframe so at this moment it's the zero degree so that means it's not going to do anything and thereafter we'll move our play head five frames ahead so we'll press the right arrow key five times one two three four five and then we'll swivel it something like this uh, around let's say 20 percent and then we will move our play head five frames ahead one two three four five and then we'll just reset the swivel okay so now if you just play it you can see it comes in and just swipes but you can see this is going way too fast so we don't want that so we'll just move this last keyframe something over here so let's play it okay this is how it looks and you can be creative with this one or move this just this, this even over here this frame so let's see and right over here now again we'll create click on the swivel okay and then we'll move few frames ahead and then we will just make it 
again 20 percent 20 degree and then we'll move view frame ahead and make it reset all right and we'll select these and just drag them on this side something like this and we'll increase their gap and now let's play this animation it comes in flips and just goes out okay and goes out okay so you can even refine this animation even further if you want but i'm happy with this one now let's see if we can do something else over here so if we click on the specular highlights and click on the show specular highlights so if you just press play you can see over here you will notice some highlight okay this is the highlight and when it just again flips you will notice this highlight so and this adds this cool highlight right over here okay so let's see okay so this is looking good so now we are going to save this as a preset so that we don't have to go through the hassles of creating all these again and again all right so we'll go to the effects control and this is the transform effect so we'll click on this arrow that would close this one and we'll click on the basic 3d that would also close it so we'll select both of these effects by pressing control and clicking on the first and then the second one and then we'll right click and select it as a save preset and we'll just rename it as in and out 3d animation okay something like this and you can write anything if you want and we'll press this ok and if you will go back to the effects panel and close this search result within the preset you will see this preset which we have just created in and out 3d animation right over here so now we can easily apply this to any layer so suppose this is the text layer and as you can see over here this is a simple text let me just remove its animation all right so you can see this is the simple text so now we'll just click and drop this effect right over on this text layer so if you just press this play you can see it just adds that cool animation to this all right so as you can see this animation is not that good but you can refine it later on okay if you want so you can see simply it just adds this animation so let's apply this on a video so this is the video it just comes in and it just goes out okay so let's add this effect so we'll click and drop this effect right over here so if we just press display you can see it comes in and makes this animation all right So this is how you can create a cool in and out animation in Premiere Pro and save it for the later use and you can use it on any layer be it an image, b-roll or text layer or any other layer. All right. So if you don't want to create this animation I have already created, you can download this preset from the link in the description section below. So thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Till then, keep shooting and unleash the creative in you. Bye-bye.